final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Leonard Madhu, and he's talking about an organization called Boko Haram, and he's pointing out the impact that they are having not only in Nigeria, in northern Nigeria, but they're also having an impact over all of West Africa. And Dr. Madhu, let's pick up where we left off, because mm -hmm. I think what we were trying to uh, get to is uh, what impact uh, has this and what implications has this mm -hmm. activity for the uh, United States government? Which, should we be concerned about this one way or the other? Yep, a lot, because uh, the question is, who is sponsoring them? Mm -hmm. Somebody is paying the bills, definitely. You know, and from what we are hearing, a lot of uh, the wealthy uh, Nigerians who are of northern extraction, who are house of Fulani or so, mm -hmm. are sponsoring them indirectly, even the politicians. Mm -hmm. A few weeks ago, one, one senator from, from northern Nigeria was arrested for, for being a, you know, a secret sponsor of the Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. So most people believe their politicians are paying the bills. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, where did they get the money from? Somebody is paying them. That's where the United States com comes into. Now, on November 30th, Congressman Patrick Meehan, who is the chair of the subcommittee you know, in, in, in Congress, part, you know, wrote up a, a, a memorandum to, to Ms. Clinton, the Secretary of State, asking that Boko Haram be declared a foreign terrorist organization, FTO. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, there are some criteria for an organization to be, be declared a foreign terrorist organization. It has to meet three, you know, mm -hmm. important criteria. One is a foreign terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. Two, it has engaged in terrorism or terrorist activities, mm -hmm. okay? And three, that organization has is a threat to American nationals mm -hmm. or American national security interests. Mm -hmm. Now, in my, in my opinion, Boko Haram meets those criteria. A, it is a foreign terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. B, it has engaged in terrorist activities, you know, terrorism, bombing churches, mm -hmm. bombing, you know, hotels, bombing pubs and all that. It's a terrorist activity. Three, you know, security to interests of American nationals and American national security. Yeah, it means that. They bombed the United Nations building. <laughs> there might be Americans walking in that building, you know, who get killed. Yeah, those churches that are bombing, there are Americans who are going to those churches. <laughs> Most Americans who walk over there are Christians who might be in those churches. And, and three, some of the oil installations, you know, that they're trying to, to bomb now. America gets about 20 so percent of it from Nigeria. In fact, George Bush, when he, when he was in charge, you know, before he left office, said, hey, if those Boko Haram threatens the oil installations, the American government might be forced to move in. In fact, when the Niger Delta militants were threatening those oil, we went in there with some equipment and all, including drones to help the Nigerian government fight them. So right now, General Carter Ham, who is the, in charge of AFRICOM, the American military decision in Africa mm -hmm. says that Boko Haram should be taken seriously and declared a foreign terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. So the mechanism to, to start fighting them like Al Qaeda mm -hmm. will put into motion. Because it, you, it might be insignificant now, but if they have relations mm -hmm. with Al Shabaab in, in Somalia, with uh, Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, and Al Qaeda in the Maghrib, then, you know, they can foster terrorism against American national inter security interests. And these are already the organizations that have <laughs> the, the, that are uh, anti-American to begin with. Exactly. And now this group is, these groups are coming together That's correct. under the auspices of Boko Haram, you're saying. Um, absolutely. And, 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 and when they say Western, mm -hmm. you know, really, it's American they're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So we understand where they're coming from. So that, that's the big problem. How to, to deal with them now that they are in their embryonic stage before, you know, they really metamorphose into some bigger and attack the United States directly. And that's what Congressman Meehan is saying, that Ms. Clinton should now mm -hmm. declare these people a foreign terrorist organization. So the mechanism to fight them mm -hmm. can be, you know, put in motion. In other words, any... any, any